The history of Windsor & Newton watercolors dates back to the 1830s. And if you check out our website, there's a really cool timeline there. So you can go through that entire history and see all the innovations and things that happened over the years. But I, I wanna step back a second and let's just talk about what watercolor is. Back when I was a college professor, I used to teach some watercolor classes, but also oil and acrylic. And one thing I would say to the students is that our common denominator is the pigment, the, the color that's in the paint. And what makes each one of those specific mediums what they are is the binder, or you can think about it as the glue that holds it in place. So when you talk about oil paint, that could be linseed oil, safflower, poppy oil, any of those could be the binder in oil paint. With acrylics, the acrylic polymer, so in the plastics family. And for watercolor, it's gum arabic, and that's from the acacia tree. So it's, it's a gum resin, it's gummy, it's sticky. It makes sense as a binder. So let's take a look. Here I've got some rose matter. This is a really iconic color in the Windsor & Newton range. It's a beautiful, beautiful pink color. A lot of botanical artists love that. And over here, we have that gum Arabic. And it kind of looks like when I, when I show this to people, they often, you know, if I ask them to guess what it is, they often say amber. And I, I think that's a fair guess. It kind of looks like that. And I just have a little bit of water on my finger. And you can see how sticky that is. It really holds on there quite well, but easy to remove. So watercolor is water soluble. So oil paint, once it dries, acrylic, once it dries, you're not gonna lift that up, it's, it's staying put. But with watercolor and it's what I like to call its cousin gouache, both water soluble. So you wanna mat and frame those to protect them. But all that aside, what, what's really intrigued me about watercolor and why I love it so much, I, I was first trained as an oil painter, but I love, love, love to travel. That's just a huge passion of mine. And it's so easy to take a little watercolor kit on the go. There's not a lot of setup. There's not a lot of cleanup. So here I've got some of my travel sketchbooks. And this happens to be a, a trip a few years ago in a place called Ischia, an island in Italy. And I've got all these little bathers on the rocks. And I was able to sit here on the beach, make little notes about that day while I was with my wife. And I, I didn't have to feel like I'm kind of being selfish and off on my own there because it's just so quick to open up my little set and again, get going right away with some watercolor pans. And here in the town, I, I love this old little Fiat and a Vespa. So again, I could do this in about 15 minutes. It's so different if I was using something like acrylic and oil, wouldn't really afford me that, that quick working time. And of course it's just it's super fast drying being water soluble. And then I get back home in my studio and I can do a more finished version of a painting here employing a lot more fine liner. So a really lovely medium if you're somebody like me who loves to get out, loves to travel, do some plein air sketching, but perfect for in the studio as well.